In this video I would like to talk about the Contacts REST XQ demo app which is now available as part of the demo app package under examples contacts collection. The Contacts XQL is our XQuery backend code. The JS collection contains jQuery and Angular. HTML has our HTML pages and data is where we store our contacts and their images. We're not going to use authentication for this. Instead, we're going to let, allow the guest user to have right access into this collection. So this is the front end. It is the home.html with the default Angular route of browse contacts, which brings up five contacts at a time. So if I go to next five, there's one more. I have total of six contacts inside of my database. Um, let's say that I don't like this picture that Bob has. I can update and I can copy a URL of any image, paste it in here and click update, which then the ExistDB image is retrieved from the web and stored locally to the ExistDB server. We can do the same with updating by uh, Frank's phone number. And his phone number is updated in the database. We can create a new contact. And here the form uses client side validation, which comes as a standard of AngularJS. So if I were to leave the email blank, it's telling me to fill in this field if I mistype an email address, it is letting me know that this is expected to be an email address field. In addition to the demo app, I've also published a public API uh, on Postman's API directory. Postman is a Chrome plugin and I use the packaged app version not the one from inside of Chrome. It is available here, API directory and exist DB REST XQ contact demo. And here all the operations that are available are listed. For example, we can create a new contact passing in this JSON and one thing that you will have to do is set this variable inside your environment here I set it in my global environment to my exist forward slash rest xq and if we send it we will retrieve back our contact that we inserted along with some links simulating hypermedia and basically this resource is now available at this URI. If you want to update the contact The resource that I passed in is not found, which is correct. But if we post a new contact and grab the new identifier and paste it in the URI here, we have successfully updated our resource and same thing it is available at the same URI. We can retrieve multiple contacts which we send a get request to demo contacts and we tell how many we want to skip and how many we want to take. So let's try to take two. I send two at a take two at a time. Here's the first contact, here's the second contact. And below those resources there are links which I used on the front end as the pagination links. So the button here 
previous five, refresh, and next five are actually dynamically returned with each request to get multiple contacts. So the previous five, in this case, is going to be the previous two, is going to be this URI. Refresh is going to be this URI, and the next two is going to be this URI. So we can change this to match the client to five. And here we have previous five, this five, and the next five. Also, you'll notice that each resource also has an icon which is available in the links and this is the path to the image we can also return a single contact we can return the image by its ID and we can post an image from any URI so we can specify the URI parameter to this contact which would update the contact to the retrieved image Context XQL module is our backend module which I won't go through in detail but in the beginning we define the collection where we want to store the data we define HTTP result codes to match the action we're taking and then we're mapping some of our custom exceptions to those result codes the best example that demonstrates the exception map is inside of the our post method for creating a new contact from a JSON payload. Inside the resource function, I wrap everything inside of a try catch block. And then as I perform each of these functions, some of them can throw exceptions. For example, converting JSON to XML will throw an exception if the JSON is invalid. So, towards the bottom, I can catch the invalid JSON and return an error, probably a 400 code back to the client, versus a 500 code to make it a more meaningful result. Um, the same would happen when I try to validate that JSON, which is now XML, and what I'm looking for by what I mean by by validate is making sure that the name the phone number and the email are present inside of the XML if they're not the validate simple contact model function would throw an invalid model exception which will also result in a 400 response Uh, the resource not found exception can be demonstrated when you're retrieving a contact by its ID. So inside of get single contact by ID, if I can't find that resource in the database, I will throw back a resource not found exception and probably returning a 404 code back to the client versus a 500 which could be some bad service stuff happening. But please look through this code and let me know if you have any questions or suggestions. I would love to expand on this more. Thanks.